welcome back to the channel here is another pov and i am so excited for this one because it is in my favorite place in the uk of all time like i don't really go outside of the uk i haven't really been abroad so it doesn't necessarily mean much but i am in brighton and hove for this pov i was visiting family and i just had to take the opportunity to take an uber down to brighton pier and get some street photography because i haven't actually been here since being so into photography so this was a delight i have to tell you it was busy it is well it was by far the hottest day of the year it was about 30 degrees which is just insanity and the uk just goes absolutely mad every time there's a little bit of sunshine i decided to take my 85 mil out so i'm shooting on the rf 85 mil f2 and that is on the canon eos r i chose the setup because i wanted to be able to keep my distance from people and still get these great shots and at that moment in time i was like this is too busy i'm not able to pick out separate individuals but as i wander more towards the pier it gets a bit more sparse and I'm like, okay, now I can start to enjoy myself. So I noticed this couple here taking a photo and it was great because lots of people were doing this on the day. They were taking photos by Brighton Pier. So I decided to take photos of them. It was so nice to be back on the pier and feeling some kind of normality. But at the same time, it was very busy and I was a little bit nervous. I get my first shot that I'm really happy with here. I see this couple to my left and I kind of pretend to take a photo of these people there. And then I turn around and capture this shot, which I love. I love that he's looking right at me. I love what he's wearing, his hat. I feel like a hat just automatically steps up any street photo. Do you agree? Brighton Pier was definitely a playground for street photography. Like this guy sat here, just sat alone, reading a book loved it i was literally just looking around the whole time trying to pick out certain individuals that actually really interested me because i could have gone snap happy took a photo of everyone because it looked so nice and everybody looked so interesting but i wanted to be more specific and paying more attention to who and what i'm taking photos of so that's why i decided to go back to this guy and i'm glad i did because i love that last photo there with his facial expression and everything sorry if the footage is a little bit lopsided for this first part of the video uh it was just clipped on wrong and i didn't really notice it i tried to straighten it up a little bit but i didn't want to crop in too much this is why i really want the gopro hero 9 with the max lens mod because it has horizon leveling it's so much wider and it would just work so well for pov videos so hopefully within the next couple months i'll be able to upgrade my dji osmo to the gopro hero 9. I saw these guys to my left here both holding motorcycle helmets and I decided to take photos of them but kind of only get the lower half and get the details of the tattoos and the, the helmets themselves, the railings on the pier. And I think that throughout this street photography video I'm actually focusing a lot more on, on details rather than like full body shots of people. I'm trying to pick out little characteristics or little things that interest me. I feel like I was heavily inspired by a YouTuber and street photographer called Faisal Westcott. He is so good at nailing all the details for street photography. And I think I was trying to channel him a little bit on this outing. And I actually really enjoyed capturing these little details. I feel like it made me pay more attention to my surroundings. There's these kids here holding hands. So I tried to capture their hands there and kind of the emotion and the connection, but I don't think I nailed focus on that one. I kind of just did it too quickly and obviously I was shooting at f2 so it was a bit harder to nail the focus on that one. I think it's great to look at other street photographers and their styles and kind of learn from them and kind of test different styles of street photography out for yourself. I think that's really important when you're trying to find your own style and I think that's why I really like Faisal Westcott's work because it's just so intriguing to me and that's why I wanted to try and bring a little bit of that into my own work without completely copying it or trying to replicate it if that makes sense. But speaking of details there's this guy here holding a mask uh, behind his back and I really really 
liked that detail. I think it timestamps, you know, when this photo was taken. Obviously, it's a, a disposable mask, so it's going to be taken anywhere in 2020 or 2021. And I just loved how he was holding it behind his back. So instead of doing a portrait shot or a full body shot, I just tried to focus on the hands and capture that, that detail. For these next shots, I'm trying to use the leading lines of the bars to the right to kind of pull you into the subject. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly special about these next series of photos by any means, but I just thought I'd include them to kind of explain what I was trying to do, what I was trying to capture. I really like this next photo here of the people in the ocean. I like how they're arranged, not arranged. <laughs> But you know, like I like how they're positioned, like the colour of the sea and the bar in the foreground. I like to use foreground elements a lot in my photography, I think you'll notice. I think it just adds that extra layer of just something interesting. I tried to get a good photo of this guy here, as I liked his energy, he was leaning against the bar, he had sunglasses. I don't think I quite got focused on his face, I think it hit his arm instead. Not mad about it, I was shooting at f2 so I did shoot myself in the foot a bit there but I personally like shooting at those wide open apertures because you get more potential for bokeh and background separation. I'm not mad if I don't nail focus 100% of the time. I know that I could if I shot at f8 but that's just not my kind of photography style. For this next photo, I knew I wanted to get a photo of the old West Pier, but I wanted to add an, a human element to it. So I waited for that man to walk across, got him out of focus, so he, he's just suggested to be there. He's not like the main focus. Obviously, the main focus is the old West Pier, which unfortunately burnt down, but it still has that human aspect and element to kind of make it a street photo. So for my next shot, I knew I wanted to get some photos of some feet walking, but I wanted to get that on the slats of the pier, kind of because I love the texture of that and I wanted to get details, like I said. It was quite hard to do because obviously I'm shooting at 85 mil. If I was at 35 or 50 mil, it definitely would have been a lot easier to get the shot that I wanted, but I quite like that it's quite zoomed in. But yeah, just a bit of experimentation going on. Here I saw this guy walking past and he had this shirt hanging out of his pocket and I just love it. I love when people have things in their pockets. I love focusing on that detail. I'm not taking a photo of the bum, I'm just taking a photo of the detail because I feel like it gives you a hint of their personality, it tells more of a story and yeah I was quite happy with that little capture there. Another classic photo of a person taking a photo of someone else. Lots of these were happening around. I, if I was taking photos of all of them, I would have ended up with like a hundred photos, but I just picked the odd one here and there just because I think they're quite interesting. As you head more to the bottom of the pier, you get lots of like fair rides right at the bottom and obviously you get these kind of games, you know, like Tin Can Alley and all of that. So I decided to take a photo of the people on the left because the woman was being quite animated. She was kind of jumping around and being quite loud. So it obviously drew my attention. Um, so I just got this quick little snap of that little situation there. I didn't stay at this place too long because one of the workers was staring at me and I, I wasn't sure if you're actually allowed to film on the pier or take photos of other people. I didn't want to get kicked off. So I, I didn't stay there too long. I wanted to just move to the end of the pier because I knew that the amusements were there, the fairground rides, and it was going to be exciting and fun. I couldn't resist just getting some photos of Brighton, the sea, it was just such a beautiful day. Like the sea actually looked a nice color. It didn't look like the brown color that the UK has basically on every beach ever. Um, so I just had to get that, it was just so nice. As I was walking to the fairground rides, I noticed all these sun lounges to the right and I was like, I need to get some photos of this, but I didn't want to invade anyone's personal space by any means. I didn't want to become a nuisance. They're relaxing, you know, but I saw this woman with her hat on her lap and I kind of took some photos as I was walking by. You saw how quick it was, but I was so happy to get these photos. I'm really happy with how they came out. I think they look great. You've got the color of the, the water in the background, the straw hat on her lap. I just really happy with those shots. 
my approach to street photography has always been respectful if that makes sense i've never been one for getting in people's faces because i know that i personally wouldn't like that if i was a person walking down the street so yeah i finally got to the fairground ride so i can resist getting some photos of the people on this ride i quite like that photo and um, i really like this one because the girl is still taking time to adjust her hair whilst on a fairground ride no one would be able to see her but you know she's adjusting it anyway I headed towards the Dodgems and I saw this woman sitting on the edge and she was staring at her, I think her sons were on the ride and I just really liked her just sat there the way she was just looking onward so I decided to get a photo of that. I wanted to separate her from, from everybody else so I took it in portrait and I quite like how it came out, it's nothing crazy special but I just liked that she was sat there looking on. I'm really trying to get out of the habit of adjusting all of my settings using the touchscreen on my camera and using the dials instead, like I do on the X100V. And I thought I had done it, but then I watched back these clips and I was like, damn it, I'm still doing it. Apart from here, I'm using the dials, thank goodness, but I'm like, stop using the touchscreen, it takes so much longer. Here I was trying to get photos of the guy as he was looking at the ride, I think he knew someone on there and he was recording it but I couldn't frame it right to add context to it. So I moved more to the right so you could actually see what he was looking at. And I just got this photo here. Nothing special about it. I know I'm saying that a lot, but you know, these are just shots that I'm seeing. I quite like the, the yellow in that photo. I saw this guy sitting on the edge there and I knew I wanted to take his photo, but I had to kind of wait for this crowd to pass. And I was trying to play like, Jedi mind tricks this whole time saying like to him turn your head look at me and he did so now I'm convinced that like I'm a Jedi I was walking behind this couple here with the gentleman in the red and again I was like I like what they're doing and I like that he kind of pulled away and they kind of carried on holding hands so I took a photo of this f3.2 so I had more of a chance of nailing that focus but yeah it's quite nice I like getting again those those little details but upcoming is my favorite shot of the day I saw this beautiful woman in a, an amazing yellow dress and a sun hat just sat on the sun lounges and I just had to get a photo she was applying lipstick and I was like turn around please and she did luckily for me she turned around and looked straight at me my Jedi mind tricks worked again and I used an adjustment brush to brighten up her face a little bit and god I just love this photo the yellow the blue the sun hat really happy this is exactly the kind of image that I wanted to take that I had in mind when I was like I'm gonna go to Brighton Pier it's a big deal for me to say I actually got happy with one of my photos because I'm literally my biggest critic but I really, really like that photo. And I turned around and just got one last snap of her portrait this time. And yeah, really happy with those shots and I'm happy to say it. The seagulls on the pier were absolutely savage. I've never known any seagulls like it. And I grew up at a seaside town. But these seagulls just showed no fear. They were like, you are on my pier, you are my guest. And I'm gonna eat your chips and your ice cream and everything you have in your hands. I just had to get a photo of him because he was like, king of the pit and fair play to him take your opportunities so after i got a photo of the the pigeon i saw this person lounging again with their arms right back like this and i thought it was so interesting for this shot i got focus wrong it's on their elbow now it's on their hands i kind of prefer the framing of the first photo but i like that the hands are in focus on there turned around got one last one but i just really liked the feel of that photo just it was so relaxed and so chilled it was so hot on the pier but it was just nice it felt nice even though i was sweating like anything <laughs> sorry too much information it just felt great to be on a pier surrounded by people in nice weather don't get me wrong it was also terrifying because i have not been around that many people for a long time but as i said earlier it kind of felt like a piece of normality I was following this elderly couple down the pier because I loved their vibe as well. I loved his hat. Any straw hat, any kind of hat in that shape as well just makes a photo look so classic. And then you add the kind of location of the pier into that as well, the aesthetics of it all. I don't know, it just makes a nice photo. And I saw this woman sat on a bench as well, a hat again. And yeah, I really like it. 
I don't know why hats just step up images, they just do. If you want to serve as a good member of the public to street photographers, always wear a hat, a bright colour, and people will love you. Whilst past Aaron is just standing there, I'll just remind you to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Unfortunately, the nature of POV videos, the majority of the people that watch aren't subscribed. I think the statistic for me is like 79% of people aren't subscribed, which, you know, it is what it is. I feel like I'm, I do that sometimes too. I'll look up a lens that I want to buy, watch a POV and not necessarily subscribe, but I'm trying to make an effort to subscribe more because it really does help a channel out. So if you are enjoying this, then please feel free to go down below, hit subscribe. Thumbs up would be lovely as well. Thank you. I still can't believe how busy the beach was just in those photos there it's just all the people look like ants <laughs> but i wanted to frame it in a way that just was a little bit more interesting so i used the railings of the pier to frame the beach and the photo that i get just feels so much like brighton if that makes sense like i feel if anyone were to look at that they would know exactly where it was just because of the detailings on the railings the pier beach the buildings I just think, to me anyway, having been to Brighton and having loved Brighton, I just feel like that photo kind of captures the essence of it to me. I'm going to come back to Brighton next month hopefully to see family again and maybe that time I'll get a chance to go into the lanes in Brighton where they have all the independent shops and maybe it'll be less busy as well, hopefully less hot and I'll be able to capture another POV. I had so much fun filming this, even editing this, even filming this voiceover, I've just had so much fun. I mean, I've enjoyed previous videos as well, but I feel like because I've just been shooting in Norwich, um, there hasn't really been much variety in it for me, but this video was just so different and obviously it's in a place that I love and I'm just really psyched to be getting this up on my channel and finally getting a video in Brighton out there to you. So as I was heading off the pier, I saw this guy there just striking this power pose with his shirt off. I just loved their energy, to be honest, and I was just lucky enough to capture that power pose of theirs. But yeah, I was basically done with the session at this point. I was just going to walk away from the pier, kind of get a space a bit more quieter so I can call an Uber, but I just wanted to capture some last, last minute shots before I head off. I always kind of put off putting away the camera until the very last minute just in case like, there's something else to capture and I couldn't resist turning around and getting just a shot of Brighton Pier with the people on the beach below, railings in the foreground. I couldn't go to Brighton Pier and not get a photo like this basically. But yeah that is pretty much it for the video apart from this photo here with the sun hats but i just want to say thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it i appreciate the uploads have been a bit sparse recently but hopefully they'll be a lot more frequent and i'll leave you with a message like i always do be kind to others be kind to yourself and just get out there and i'll see you soon with another video bye